Time now for Inside Out as SNY NBA insider Ian Begley joins us from the Garden. And Ian, we can all look at the box score and see that OG Ananobi was a ridiculous plus 28. But as someone who's always around this team, what intangibles did he add that one might not see on the stat sheet? Well, one is that he restores order to a degree. Him back in that starting lineup allows Precious Achua to come back off the bench. And Precious was very good uh, while these guys were hurt. He was getting starters minutes, but he was also great off the bench against Philadelphia, and I think he'll continue to thrive in that role. So Ananobi allows everybody to get back to their normal spot, and it also allows the Knicks to, I think, take some more chances on defense. They know they have Ananobi there uh, to match up against the top perimeter player of the opponent. I think it makes everybody a little more confident on the defensive end. So plenty of intangibles there and the points that he puts up, the steals that he gets. So a lot of impact from An Ananobi on his first night back. Yeah, certainly no doubt about that. All right, we just heard Tom Thibodeau say Josh Hart was incredible as he becomes the sixth Nick to have at least four triple doubles in one season. And this one certainly was a stat sheet stuffer. Not only did he go for 20, 19, and 10, Ian, but he also made Tom Thibodeau laugh. So how do you put in perspective Hart's value to this team? Yeah, you know what? I think some Nick fans were upset about the contract that Hart had signed, the extension in the offseason, especially early on in the season when he wasn't really hitting shots. But it's beyond that with Josh Hart. His value extends beyond making or missing three-pointers. I think the way he plays, the intensity he plays with, and the belief he has in both himself and his teammates, it's a big part of why this group has just a confidence in itself no matter who's in the lineup, who's out of the lineup, uh, no matter who the opponent is. I feel like this group every night feels like it has a good chance to win games and Hart's presence and his approach is a big part of that. All right, so OG now back for this club. What's the latest on Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson's possible returns? Yeah, Julius Randle still has not been cleared for full contact. He's doing basically everything else. He's taking kind of controlled contact with a coach, but he's not five-on-five five scrimmaging. He's not taking contact in that sense. So that's the next hurdle for him, and I think there's some – you know, people wondering why he hadn't been cleared yet. I think the Knicks are taking their time. Julius is going to take his time. I don't think anybody, though, has come to the conclusion that he is unlikely to, unlikely to come back. I think feeling he's still going to return this season. It's just a matter of when. Mitchell Robinson will be uh, taking contact soon, Tom Thibodeau said. He said Robinson's making some really good progress. So once you hear that Robinson's on the court scrimmaging five on five you know he's getting closer to coming back all right ian they now pack their bags for a four-game road trip starting thursday in portland thanks for joining us here on honda sports night